Hey YouTube, Catlifor on Modder here, and we're gonna be doing the EM, or uh, Extrusion Multiplier, and then the next video is gonna be Pressure Advance. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe if you like this video. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to do real world printing. Um, cubes are great and all that, but real world printing definitely helps out because you're able to see exactly what's going on at different stages of the print. Now I do use PIF settings where I do four solid top and bottom layers. I do four solid out internal, external, whatever. So that the walls are four, okay? And 40% infill. Now I do use triangle infill. I do like it. I do find it to be extremely strong for a lot of the stuff that I do. Now, first things first, before you do any tuning whatsoever, make sure that Z height's good. Make sure that first layer bonds or binds to the bed. Make sure your temperature in your bed is hot enough for the plastic. I find ABS and ASA on these Vorons need to be around 110. Some people report to be able to do it at like 100 or 105, but 110 seems to be a solid number. And I believe that's the default on the LS tuning profile we talked about uh, last video. Now, if you don't like Super Slicer, it's totally fine. My feelings aren't hurt. However, I just find it to be the most reliable in terms of all of the options and things that you have for tuning. Now, one of the things I noticed early on in this was I was getting a little bit of overlap and gap on the surface of the prints. Um, I don't really care about the first layer other than it binding or bonding to the bed. It's all the speedy layers after that. So. Uh, layer two through 9,000, whatever you're doing. Um, you wanna make sure that you're having good consistent flow out of the hot end. So if you did a rotational distance correctly and you have the correct steps in there, what we need to be doing is going negative with the extrusion not positive. So in all my testing in the last three, three and a half weeks of EM trying to film this video, the G2SA just works. Um, now I do have problems with this G2SA it was the first gen kit, first gen profile. I believe Jared has adjusted the STL slightly. Um, so that's gonna get upgraded again for this and the 2.4. But as soon as the Trident is printing as good as the 2.4, then we're gonna tear down the 2.4 and do a whole series on upgrades for that. So how do we adjust our extrusion multiplier well on clipper screen you click fine tuning and right here on the right now i found my sweet spot to be 97 percent and i'm going to show you how to do the math on that in just a second but a lot of people report uh one and two percent or five and ten you can actually change those numbers using one scp and i'm going to show you that right now so i was already logged into one scp so we're going to go pi clipper screen panels and we're looking for fine-tune.py now a great thing about when scp is i'm allowed to use the text editor make changes without any issues whatsoever so what we're looking for is a thing called extra deltas one thing to touch base on is not everybody's clipper screen looks the same and that's totally okay you're just going to control f and type in extrude underscore deltas that that's exactly what you need extrude deltas and you can change that to five and ten to start and then reprint apart and do one and two or one and four whatever until you get exactly what you need now fine tuning the z this is also the same place to adjust your settings you can add extra zero there if you really want to uh doesn't really need to be sometimes i find 0 0.01 and 0 0.03 like to be the best because um i can do multiples of one one two three four or three six nine and then nine minus one you know is eight all that crap so you figure out whatever works best for you and do that Okay, so monitor right, this is Super Slicer, my LS profile for my wife, so for our monitor's wife, it's the Trident. My extrusion multiplier is 0.96. Now on the clipper screen, you saw 97%. So I'm gonna use a percentage calculator, percentagecalculator.net works. So I wanna know what is 97% of 0.96 and it is 0.93119. So I'm just gonna round up and go 0.932 in here, 0.932. And I'm going to save that in there because I know that that's what is working well. And you'll just keep going back and forth with this until you get something that you really, really like and know is good. So adjusting the settings back and forth is actually kind of a godsend or a lifesaver, if you will. Um, it allows you to really dial things in as they should be. Now, your rotational distance does compound this, so make sure your rotational distance is set in really good before you really do anything. Otherwise, it's gonna cause you a lot of headache later. Uh, adjusting and fine tuning your extrusion multiplier is crucial to having good quality prints and uh, can also affect dimensional accuracy. So just make sure that you adjust things and are comfortable with that. 
Um, we can do dimensional accuracy later. We're going to get into the new Clipane, um, the Frix X, the Shake and Tune installation, running it, what your results mean, and all that. So uh, stay tuned for more updates. Well, that is all for today's video. Um, I am printing the Clicky Clack, or as I call the Fridge Door mod. Um, for the Trident, so I got a kit coming from West 3D today. It's a LDO kit for this super tall Trident to install. Uh, hopefully it's the right kit that got sent and uh, I'm a little worried about it. Then we also have the first of its kind LDO uh, licensed, whatever you want to call it, V0 kit for uh, the V0 upstairs in my son's room, which is the mini fridge. So we'll be doing an unboxing video, how to install the, the panels, the extrusions, everything and going through that. Once we confirm that everything is hunky-dory and good, then those will be available within the next 30, 40 days or so from West 3D's website, if not sooner. So if you guys are interested in getting yourselves a licensed LDO mini fridge kit, please contact Dan at West 3D. And uh, don't forget, if you've never used my promo code before, use the Voron Modder one word at checkout for a cool one-time 5% off your entire order, which helps out a lot. So stay tuned for more videos and pressure advance coming up next.